This is part two of the fireworks tutorial. What we'll do in this tutorial is we'll go ahead and um, get the explosion going, and uh, that'll be that. So let's go ahead and do it. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to uh, emit particles from the object uh, particle one again. So you're going to click on particle one, and then we're going to go to particles emit from object. Okay, so that's what it looks like now. Not good. We need to we need to fix all that. So let's go ahead and do that. So as you can tell, you have particle one, which has two emitters. Emitter two is emitting particle two, and emitter three is emitting particle three. This will be the explosion. So we'll go ahead and do that now. <clears throat> Uh, and particle 3, we're going to make sure we're right here, particle 3. It's kind of nice because when you click on the emitter, it has the shape and the particle. We're going to go ahead and put it at a random range that's going to go from 3 to 0.5. Okay. And we're going to make it multi-streak. Oops. Which is here. Okay. Right there. Those are them. Okay. We're going to go ahead and go to particle one particles per point emission rate. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. <coughs> particles. Particle one, particles. Uh, we're going to go to per particle emission rate. I think that's what I just pressed. Nope. Don't do that. Okay. Particles. Let's do that again. You want? That's right. Per point emission rate. Okay. So now what we're going to do is it just created this emitter. Uh, emitter 2 rate per particle and emitter 3 rate per particle. This is going to control how the particles are created. That's all it's doing. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create a ramp for 2 and then we're going to go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and do that. An emitter 2 rate create ramp edit ramp and here just have the whole thing white what this means is that when you play it, the particles come out the whole time. Or it should. All right. Now we're going to go to here, and we're going to put in max value of 500. I think that'll fix that problem. I hope. There you go. Okay. So that's controlling how much, uh, how many particles get thrown out of there. Okay, fantastic. Now go to emitter three. You see what happened if we didn't put this in? The higher this number, see now you'll get um, more particles. This controls basically the amount of particles that are shooting out. It's a little tricky. <clears throat> okay. So again, you have the uh, emitter rate here. You go to edit the ramp, and then we just click this button. That's all it did. That's all it did. If we go back, we're, we're back to that window. Okay. We're going to do the same thing for emission three. We're going to go to create ramp. Now we're going to go to edit the ramp. And here, okay, here it's going to look a little strange. What we're going to do is we're going to take this bottom one, and we're going to drag it all the way up to the top. There you go. Let's get rid of that. This is what you want. It's, it's, I don't know if you could see that. I hope you can. Just a little smidgen 
of uh, of white and everything else is, is black. What this will do, if I, if I play this right now, nothing's going to happen. What we have to do is we have to go to here. And remember, we have to go to uh, max value. And we're going to put in for this one, for the explosion, we'll put in 1,000 particles. So watch what's going to happen now. See? You have your firework. Remember, if we forgot to put this in, watch what will happen. Nothing. Nothing will happen. Uh oh, it's broken. No, it's not. We just put in a 1,000 here. So what you're doing, you have a ramp that's controlling when the particles are going to be released. It's red from the bottom up. That means do nothing, do nothing, do nothing, do nothing, do nothing, do nothing. Create a whole bunch. How many? Uh, a 1,000. The min value, obviously, is zero. If I were to put in a value here, it would emit the whole time. And you don't want that. So there you go. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and uh, we could mess around with how long the um, particle threes are going to live. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to click particle shape three. I'm going to go to... I'm only going to actually make them live like 1.5 here. Let's see how this looks. Perfect. Boom. It's kind of long. Let's, let's maybe one. That's good. Okay. So now that we've done that, we're going to add ramps for the particle colors. That's all you're going to do. And you're going to add some gravity onto the particles that uh, explode and some turbulence. So let's go ahead and do that. Go to particle one. Let's go ahead and create a little to do, do. Let it go a little bit. <clears throat> go to particle one. We're not going to touch that. That's the sphere. Let's go to particle two. And we go to particle two here. And we're going to go to uh, general. Actually, I lied. Color. Add per particle color. Right click. Create ramp. I'm holding now right click for this. Edit ramp. Let's hit play here. Okay, it's, I have to hit five on my keyboard to see it. All right. And then what I want you to do is just kind of Go to your particle 2, right click, edit your ramp until you get colors that you're happy with. Maybe you should go from, uh, I don't know, down here like a red, which is pretty good. Green is weird. Let's not do that. Let's do like a yellow. To like a gray maybe. Again, now just click on the circle, and then click on the color. You guys already know that, though. Maybe like a charcoal. Let's see how that looks. That looks cool. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and mess around with the particle 3. Color. Per particle attribute. Uh, right click. Create expression. No, oh, just kidding. Right click, create ramp on the RGB per PP, and go to edit ramp. This you could get creative with. It's firework. It should be bright and, you know, fun. So we go from like blue to, I don't know, red to maybe like that. Let's see. Yeah, it looks cool. Too much red going on in the scene. Let's let's not do this. Okay, something like that. Let's see what that looks like. That looks good. You could mess around with your uh See, there are spheres, and it doesn't say, see, some of them say software. 
This will render with hardware. And you could put a texture on here if you want. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> That's up to you. Also, you could go to your particle 3. And you could mess around with the, let's see, particle 3. Particle 3 shape, there we go. Current render attributes. You could mess around with the, the count, the radius, the line width. You know, you could mess around with all this stuff. Don't know what that does. The tail fade. Tail side. That's up to you. Whatever you want to do here. Well, don't want that. It looks terrible. Let's keep that at one. Okay. And there you go. And I think... I'm just going to try something real quick. Don't know if it'll work. On particle one, I'm going to do color. I'm going to do a add per object attribute. Let's see. I could actually right click on this and I could go to material attributes, I think. There you go. See, so you could change, kind of change the color of this thing if you want. Uh, spheres don't really do a whole lot. Let's just render this out and see what it looks like. I got a bad frame there. Okay, render. Make sure you use your hardware render. It's skipping my particle shape too for some reason. I'm not sure why. It, um, you shouldn't have that problem. Okay, that's good. You just learned how to make fireworks, and um, you'll go ahead and I'll write up an assignment for you guys, and you're going to do it. Hope you found this fun and informative, and um, get a better idea of how to use particles.